interval of increasing and decreasing. Without graphing, determine the intervals of increasing and decreasing for the following functions. So in this series, this is the one with radicals. Earlier, we did examples with polynomials and rational functions. Now, I'll do one of them. Uh, let me take the first one for you, which is y equals to x plus x to the power of 2 over 3. Now, as we did earlier, our policy is to find y dash, the derivative, and then figure out at which points is the derivative 0 or undefined, and then test for it being positive or negative. If the derivative is positive, the function is increasing. If the derivative is negative, the function is decreasing, right? Now, let's find the derivative first. So y dash is derivative of x is 1, and x to the power of 2 over 3 will give me 2 over 3, x to the power of 2 over 3 minus 1. Now this could be written as 1 plus 2 over 3 x to the power of 2 minus 3 is minus 1 so you get minus 1 over 3, right? Let's simplify this expression. So when we simplify it, we can rewrite like 1 over 1 plus 2 over 3 and that is cube root of x, correct? Now let's take this as a common denominator. So you get 1 plus 3, I mean, uh, we'll take common denominator as 3 cube root of x, and 3 gets 3 times cube root of x gets multiplied here. So we get 3 times, okay, let me rewrite this in a different link. So we get here 3 cube root of x plus 2. So that is what we get in the numerator, right? Now, from here, we can figure out, so let me write this properly here. y dash is equals to 3 times cube root of x plus 2 over 3 times cube root of x. So that is what our derivative is. Now, the points where this derivative is 0 is where the numerator is 0, and it is undefined at the point where denominator is 0, right? So from here, we can find the points when numerator is 0. Let me do the calculation for numerator equals to 0. So this cube root of x times 3 plus 2 equals to 0 means that cube root of x equals to minus 2 over 3, right? Or x is equals to minus 2 over 3 cube. And that gives us a value which is minus 8 over 27. Correct? So that is one value where x is 0. Now, where is fy dash? I mean, where the derivative? So at this value, derivative is 0. Now, derivative will be undefined when the denominator is 0. That means when we equate 3 cube root of x equals to 0, so that is at x equals to 0. So we got now two points. One is where the derivative is 0. The other one is where the derivative is undefined, right? So this is the one with undefined. So let me figure out in which interval is our function increasing and in which interval is the function decreasing. So we have two points here. One is minus 8 over 27 and the other one is 0 for us. Now 0 is the one where the derivative is undefined. So we'll write a hole here, right? So the vertical asymptote, I mean at this point we're not very sure what kind of derivative it is. It could be a sharp corner, right? Because this is radical function and here we know it is 0 just kind of a turning point at this region. Now what we will do is we'll take a test point on either sides of these values. So a good test point could be on the left of this we can take a value which is higher than this, right? So that could be 
let us say it is 8 over 27 so let's take a value let's keep the base 27 and all numerator we can take 27 so it could be minus 1 so I'm just writing 27 here just to show you that this is on the left side which effectively is minus 1 right so we are taking a test point minus 1 on this side and we are taking a point in between 0 and 8 over 27 here so I'll write that test point as minus 1 over 27 and a point on the right side one could be a good point on the right side right now if you plug this value minus 1 here then what do you get if you if you write minus 1 here in the function then numerator will be this is minus 1 so it's minus 1 times 3 which is minus 3 plus 2 negative right so numerator is negative and denominator is also negative right so what we can do here is we can plug it in and use calculator to calculate so once you do that you'll find that you get a positive value here so let me use a different thing so at this test point you will get positive value for y dash so we are checking these values for y dash correct you plug this value in your function minus 1 now if we write minus 1 over 27 in this then you will get a negative value and if you plug in 1 here so 1 will make all of them positive so you'll get positive value for y dash so from here you can figure out that the interval of increasing is from minus infinity to minus 8 over 27 this region so it is increasing here and then it decreases and after that it again increases so that's how you can get intervals of increasing and decreasing for this function now I'll just sketch kind of a graph from here uh, which is which will look like kind of like this just to give you an idea it will help you to understand what we've done here I know it is very messy now but in any case so this is a point where we got 0 as a derivative so I'm just plotting that point here so this is my point which is minus 8 over 27 right and this is the point where we got undefined derivative so for a radical function that indicates a cusp and now we can see the function is increasing before this that means function is kind of like this and this is the turning point then it goes like this and then again turns so that is how the function is going to look so so when you sketch this well you need much more data than this to sketch it but approximately you can get these points by plugging in some values and get the points zeros you know x could be taken as common and then you can work it out but in any case the idea here is that the radical functions will have cusp and those are because of the derivative being undefined at those points so function is continuous but the derivative is not defined so these are the points where you expect a cusp so there this point indicates a cusp for you and this is a way to test so that is how you will do this particular question now the others are quite similar to this I like you to practice using examples B C and D and if you have any difficulties, you can always get back to me. Thank you.